Hello and welcome. This is Mudassir Afraz from SivalTechnologyForYou.com and in this session I will cover the topic how to find out late start and late finish of the activities. As in previous video we find out early finish and early start of the activities. So let's get started. For example our client want to finish this project at day 32. So what will be the late finish of this activity? Definitely it will be day 32 because we have to finish this project on day 32 and what will be the late start of this activity so we will use this equation as in late finish we will subtract the duration and add one to find out the late start of the activity as in forward pass what we did was in early start we add duration and subtract one to define the early finish of the activity so here we will do the opposite so late start will be day 28 now we are moving to another level and here we have to find out the late finish of these two activities as in forward pass in early finish we add one end and to define the early start of next activity so late finish of the previous activity what we will do here in late start we will subtract one so here it will be day 27 and what will be the late start of these two activities as we will use this equation so in late finish we will subtract the duration and add one to define the late start so late start will be day 13 here and day 19 here so late finish of these activities will be 12 12 and 18 and late start of these activities will be 12 minus 5 plus 1 will give us 8 10 here and 12 here so now we are moving to the next level and here this activity is connected with two activities so which value we will take 10 or 12 remember in forward pass we choose the greater value and add one to define the early start of next activity but here we will choose the lesser value and subtract one so here lesser value is 10 so 10 minus 1 will give us 9 so here 9 is the late finish of this activity and here 7 is the late finish of this activity so what will be the late start 9 minus 9 plus 1 will give us 1 so late start is 1 here and late start of this activity will be 4 so the process we did here is called backward pass in which we define late start and late finish of the activities so hope you understand forward pass and backward pass now look closely this activity we can start between these two dates from 1 to 4 it will not affect the project whole duration the difference between early start and late start or early finish and late finish is called float so here float is 3 days so we can delay this activity for 3 days it will not affect the project whole duration so look closely here some of the activities has zero float like b activity has zero float d f and h so these activities are called critical activities we cannot delay these activities if we will delay these these activities it will affect the whole project duration okay look closely here if we will add the duration of these critical activities it will make the whole project duration 9 plus 3 plus 15 plus 5 will make 32 so it is the whole project duration so you can understand how critical activities are affect on project so let's do the same example in Primavera and see how Primavera calculate the things fastly. Okay, I have opened the software and what I will do here is I will go into the file and I will create new project. Click here on new and I will select the EPS as architecture. Okay, and next and I will give the project ID name as a CPM. Okay, and project name as critical path method. Critical path method and uh, then uh, I will next it and uh, I will go into the project plan start date it could be like uh, 2 and hours 8 a.m. starting select and then I will press next again and then next again standard rates next and I will give it as a finish okay the new project is created I will go into the projects and here under architecture department uh, the project name is critical path method as we give it already okay I will open it and what I will do here I will do the same example in here okay so here I will add the activities like there was activities up to H A B C D E F G H okay and I will give the name here one by one A B C then D E, F, G, 
and h okay then what i will do i will give the duration as per our table the duration was 4 then 9 and then 5 okay then 3 7 and then after 15 okay 15 then 9 and 5 okay 9 and 5 so after that what i will do i will give the predecessor to the right activities and for that i will go into the predecessor tab here is the predecessor okay and i will assign the activities as these two activities are starting on same date so these have no this has no predecessor so the activity c predecessor is a activity so i will click on c activity and i will go into the assign tab what i will do here i will assign the predecessor of c the predecessor activity of c is a then the predecessor activity of d is b okay so i will go into the d and i will assign b okay uh, sorry b yes then i will go into e okay and the e activity predecessor is also b then i will go into the f and the f activity is c and d okay two predecessor here c and d and g activity predecessor is e and h sorry this is h and h activity has predecessor f and g so we have done this okay i will close this one what i will do i will go into the schedule okay here in schedule i will click and will schedule this one so it is schedule schedule is done and you you can see here the critical activities has red color okay for example b activity is critical d is critical f is critical h is critical as we find before so you can see that how prime video calculate the things firstly and here it's give us the early start of the activity early finish of the activity and late start of the activity and late finish of the activities so uh, you can see that the house software calculated the thing easily and fastly so hope you understand this session i will see you in the next thank you and allah hafiz